That's a cat. He's really big. During the outdoors, got this buff on the ground. Hey guys, Dave here. This is your uh, tip of the week. You know, um, I have a recipe for you guys that will uh, definitely get you closer to that big buck or that doe that you're looking for. You know, there's a lot of sportsmen out there that hunt for the meat and some that hunt for the rat. But uh, I promote, you know, pretty much hunting for the meat. And, um, you know, it's just a wonderful sport and we should definitely, um, you know, pass on to our children. So, I mean, just hunting for rats, you know, I, you know, I don't knock those guys, but, you know, I, I'd rather have, you know, better, better meat and uh, better uh, sport by having you know, me and house and family will appreciate it a lot more. But anyways, I have a recipe for you guys today um, that will definitely help you get more meat in the freezer. And this is, you know, like November, it's the beginning of November, so um, yeah, it's just a little tip that will help you during the cold winter time when those deer are starting to slow up and the corn fields are gone, the soybean fields are gone, you know, and you're trying to still you know get a good deer either buck or doe like i said but i'm gonna go ahead and start with this uh basically it's a really simple recipe it's salt and syrup s and s <laughs> uh salt salt the salt is a really tart thing but um you know uh the deer seem to love it and also the syrup is a sweet now one thing the deer love is sweet and sour you know people love sweet and sour chicken but, but um, deer love sweet and sour also. All you gotta do is take these two ingredients, mix them together, and uh, put them in a jug. And if you really want to kick it up a notch, throw some corn in there. Uh, whether it be white corn or yellow corn, it doesn't matter. Sweet corn is better. Um, but you go ahead and throw that into the mix. And what happens is, once you take a, I use about three of these. Now this is just a little, you know, one pound, 10 ounce, but um, it'll cost you maybe 30 cents if you go to Walmart, take three of these, mix them together with like a, a big jug. Um, you know, it's not really just 50-50, it's like 30-70, um, 70% salt, 30% uh, syrup. And you mix them together, and what you'll have is a jug of syrup and you know, salt. So um, basically, once you mix that together, put them into a jug, and um, go ahead and shake it. And then if you really wanna um, make it last a little bit longer in the woods, a lot of people think, oh, if I pour salt and syrup on the ground, it's just gonna go straight into the ground. Okay, got a little fixture for that. All you have to do is let it sit for about a week and it'll harden up, okay? It'll start to salt, it'll absorb the sugar and become one crystallized thing. So it'll, it'll come, become a solid. So all you have to do is go ahead and Cut the jug and like cut it sideways to where it's like a a, um, a a soup bowl, if you will. And then you want to cut a hole in the bottom. That way it'll slowly, like I'll say about the side, cut a hole about the side of the bottom. And it'll slow the process and then deer can come up there and lick out of the bowl. You know, and it'll work. And the, the uh, sugar, the, the syrup will kind of pass through the salt. A little bit very 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 slowly it'll last about a month maybe a month and a half depending on the rain but um you go ahead and mix that together throw it dear I love it that's a cat he's really big during the outdoors got this book on the ground <laughs> 